like to thank my gamer supporter, Livy Neko, for bringing this video. Livy, another month of support. Thank you for being so nom. The nomest Neko pretty much ever, actually. So thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it, Livy Neko. Thank you so much. If you enjoy the videos, me and Chrism, me by myself, all those nom things, please consider supporting us on Game Wars. It's pretty much the main way we make money now instead of YouTube. So if you're interested in supporting us, hit the link below in the description that says Game Wisp. Go to Game Wisp and uh, have a nom time, basically, by uh, by hitting that link and checking it out. It's like Patreon. There's lots of rewards you can get on offer, including some new ones that have been added really recently. So check it out. Anyway, oh my god. We're going to play some horror games. A really bad one as well. Like, this is really bad. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what happens. Hi guys, it's Minx here. I hope you're doing well. And welcome to Mortem. Today me and Chris and we're going to tackle a spooky, scary, terrifying game. The likes of which have never been seen before. Isn't that right, Chris? It's probably been seen before. Let's be honest. This is an indie horror game on Steam. Which means there's a good chance this is complete shit. But uh, me and Chris are going to start playing a lot more of these and uh, braving the worst for you and uh, hopefully finding some hidden gems as well. Top tip game developers, please include audio settings in your game, please. That would be great. Because there's none in this. There's none. There's none. Anyway, uh, this is Mortem. I'll include on screen right now a little blurb about the game for you guys if you want to see what the game's about. Anyway, let's get into the video, shall we, and see what happens. Let's go, Bubba. Let's go. You ready for some spooks? So, this game is about hide-and-seek, by the way. There's hide-and-seek, hide-and-seek double mode, hide-and-seek dark mode harder, or hide-and-seek nightmare mode. I think we'll just go for hide-and-seek. Okay. I think it's for the best. Oh, I'm already in the game. Hold C for controls. West, left shift. Mouse, toggle flashlight, open door, basic stuff really. Right mouse button, focus flashlight, tag enemy. Okay, so the flashlight isn't working. <laughs> I can't get rid of this as well. I'm home. Hello? Lily? Tom? Hannah? Some stellar voice Where acting is here. Everybody? They are not here. <gasps> they were taken. Hurry, you must listen to what I have to say throughout these games, as we call them. To survive, you must follow my instructions carefully. Now go to Tom's room. You should find a flashlight there. Then I'll guide you through the first game. Sounds great. So. I love the way we didn't respond to that, by the way. We're just like, oh well, you know. This is the same house that's in a house party. John okay, did a video can, on this. Can, can we go to the room? Okay. I'm looking around. Yeah, it's dark. You can't see anything. It is pretty dark. And the light switches don't work. Okay. Did you hear that? Sounds like a squid. Got a little floppy bunny. Okay. That isn't, isn't real for a second. Bathroom. Looks like you're just headbutting doors in order yeah, to make them go open. I think so too. Um, is that is that my shadow or my own? Oh, that's my my. I can see my own chin. When I, when I looked at Beba, can you see your chin when you look down? I can kind of see my nose a little bit. I guess that's, that's pretty weird. This guy must have a massive chin. With mm. Timothy. You, you know, you know, um... I don't think we're called Timothy. I think we're supposed to be going... Oh, maybe no, we are. we are Timothy. It says in the blue. Oh, you know what it is? The closet. The game she wants to play is hide and seek. But for you, it works as seek and hide. You need to run into the closet, not walk. Then... You always need to keep the flashlight off in the closet. Okay. Um. Go, go, go! Get out! Where am I running from? That's how the closet works. Now, when you hear a laugh, that means she has entered- <laughs> Oh! Jesus! What even happened?! What the fuck was that?! 
Um, I don't know, but you spoke espresso. Anyway, you know what I was going to say? That guy, that guy, because you can see his chin, and your name is Timmy. So, like, uh, is he, is he, is he, what is his name? The Crimson Chin from Fairly Out Paris? I'll look up a picture. I'll put it right there. That guy. He's is that, that who guy. it is? Yes. Yeah, so this is yeah, a this Fairly is, Odd this, Parents fan game. Yeah, this is Fairly Odd Parents fan game. <laughs> that, that's, that's Cosmo right there. I have no idea what happened. Let's try that again, though. So that was the basic hide and seek. Um, I bet. I, I've got a feeling, I'm going to make a call here, that we're not going to make it past one round of hide and seeking. I'm home. Hello? Lily? Tom? Hannah? Where is everybody? They are not okay, the, well, that didn't that, that, skip that, that, anything. Well, that's a lie, game. That's a fucking lie. I'm going to look around and see if I can find the person where, like, maybe they're, like, here. As we call them. To survive, no. you must follow my right. I'm, I'm, I'm looking in the closets upstairs. Now go to Tom's room. How can you and see you where you're going? There. I then can't see nothing. Must be the angle. I can't get in the closet. In here, any ghosts in here? In the in the washing machine? No. No, no we already know there's not. There might be ghosts, but I don't but like there's ghosts. There's no ghosts. All you're doing is getting me nauseous. Okay, now go in the closet like the queer you are. Turn off the flashlight. Now what? Um. Go into another closet and turn it off. That one's not real! Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> They're wearing a top hat! What the fuck? That's not. That's not real. Do we have to avoid them? How? How? I don't know. Aren't you supposed to tag her? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What was the control for tag? Uh, isn't it right click? Yeah. Right, right. She was in here, right? Get rid of the jump scare, get rid of the jump scare. Okay, what? What What are we, what are we supposed to do? It doesn't explain it at all! It's just a fucking mess! And why is she wearing a top hat, by the way? Well, you know, a bubba in a top hat is actually pretty spooky, especially when you add the long legs. But, what is this image got to do with the baby? <laughs> why, why, why is there a gas mask? Um, maybe the crimson chin just needs a gas mask today. Somebody farted, I can't tell if it's, it's you or me. the pretzel. It's not me, it's pretzel. <laughs> pretzel has farted, guys. That's her verdict on the game. That is pretzel's <laughs> verdict on this gem. This is three pounds ninety nine. This is three pounds ninety nine, baby. Pretzel, what did you eat? So many eggs. Grandma fed you so many eggs. We're gonna have one more try. We're gonna play on double mode. Don't know what that means. This mode works the same as hide and seek. You need to enter the closet first now and then go seek. All right. Yeah, but we saw it and then but we, she we, we killed definitely us. seeked a lot before, right? And also, do we have to hide in the same place every time? Like, is it just that closet that works, or is there any other closets that work? Right now. We've got to find her, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's wait for her to spawn in this fucking room. Okay, I don't understand. But is she, is she hiding in a closet? Do we have to check closets? You know what? You shouldn't just out somebody. That's rude. But it's a baby in a top hat. It's, it's gonna be gay. I have realized that, you know, especially when you're really, really gay and everybody knows that you're gay and literally you're not fooling anyone by pretending to be straight, it's still kind of rude to just go up and say, yeah, this person's gay. You have to do this for seven minutes straight, by the way. Seven minutes of this garbage. Why can't you just wait in the, in the closet? Seven minutes. The closets will close at seven minutes after they unlock the first time. It looks like let's just stand here. We got it, all right. So, seen any good films recently? Um, well, last night. Actually, no, not last night. Now, on my birthday, I hung out with Minx and Isaac and Dilly, and we watched a bunch of bad horror movies. Five hours later. Then that's when they were like, "Okay, well, we don't want you around anymore because you have like weird." powers or whatever and you're outsiders so 
Yeah, it was weird. I mean, and, and it was kind of bad because at the end you couldn't really feel the... You, you didn't get any closure because every single person in the movie was a jackass. Like, every single member of the village was part of this, like, burning. Like, every single... Not, not like... Five hours later. Because that's the problem when we watch bad Asian horror movies is... Half the time, they're so bad that they don't stick in your brain. And then they all kind of meld together. Five hours later. So, we've got a minute left. Would you predict that once it gets to zero, we just die? We probably just die. Because we're meant to be finding it, right? But we decided not to because every time we move, it teleports onto you and kills you. Why does it kill you when you're looking for it? Surely it makes more sense if it kills you if it's seeking you. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, surely... like, we were seeking it out. I don't think it necessarily... Well, the first time it did. But the second time, it was like we saw it. We tagged it. And, and, then, just it, like, and then it killed us anyway. Maybe I, maybe I tagged it and that, I had like a second to react or something. I don't fucking know. That, that's bullshit, though. That's not how it works. I'm going to run to the closet at zero and then see what happens, all right? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. There's a cup of green tea here. So fun. This is the best game ever made. The best... This costs money. This, the this best costs money. One. The best one of those Asian horror films we've okay. seen. What? Did it, did it break? The best one I've seen. What? That is bullshit. You could just climb over that. Are you are you stuck? I, I, I don't know if the game broke or what. Like It's just, it's just gone down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find it. The closet won't open. Where's this bitch? You ready for the jump scare? It's not in here. She's not in here. Did you hear that? Yeah. What is that? Who the fuck are you? There's just a man. Is it a lady? Is it a man? <laughs> not the lady jump scare noise. Uh, excuse me. I'm very sorry. I'm not trying to be problematic. It's just I literally can't tell if you're wearing a bikini, or. Like, what are your pronouns? I'm not trying to be a dick here. I just I want to know. Oh no! And then he changed into the other one. I I'm confused. I'm so good. What is this? <laughs> what is it? What? What? I'm so. That was horrible. Anyway, I think we're done. That was Morton. <laughs> Don't buy it. It's fucking awful. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it changed into the baby. <laughs> It was a man, maybe woman, in a gas mask, and then it turned into the baby in the top hat. Mid-animation! I'm gonna put that up in slow motion there so you can see the transit, the flawless transition <laughs> between gas mask monster to baby in top hat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. What can they do if they in, in, enjoyed, in inverted commas, this video, baby? Mm, don't buy this game. Yeah, that's about it, really. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. <laughs> Don't, don't worry about liking the video. <laughs> it was really shit. <laughs> See you soon for more games, guys. Bye! But, if you did want to do more, <gasps> you could sign up to Game Wisp. There's lots of the new, there's new reward tiers on Game Wisp as well. You could also download the Tab app if you want. Tad, not Tab. I said Tad. You said Tab. 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 The, the, the thingy. And you could watch ads. On Tad. On Tad. And to then... generate income for me. Yes, so Pretty we enough. can afford to do this as a job, although at this point I'm not really sure why we'd want to. Except, you know, there is a puppy here and she kind of does need food, so I guess that's a really good reason. She's looking quite that's, cute that's right now. That's pretty, a pretty good reason to keep doing this as a she job. She also farted again. Mm, maybe not that good of a reason. This game makes pretzel fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretzel, you look so weird with your sh head shaved. So, so this time at the groomer, there was a bit of miscommunication between me and Minx, and neither of us told the groomer what we wanted, because we each thought the other one had already mentioned it. And the groomer's fine. Groomer, like, you know, we've been using her since Pressa was a puppy, so that's not the problem. The problem was neither of us mentioned anything, so she just kind of went into, okay, I guess I'll do the standard trim that I do on all of Cockapoos, and she didn't mention specifically what you wanted like you usually do. And, um... Pretzels usually has a little bit of a little bit of an afro type, you know. She she usually has a rounded head, like a domed hairstyle, because that's what adds to her boofy face. But this time she cut her more like a cocker spaniel, and um, 
it looks a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. It looks a bit weird. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.